Hey guys, it's Mark from Ericsson Machine again. Today we're going to go over porting 750 and 800 Cowies. So show you the templates, kind of what we do, and get you all started. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to port this 750 cylinder. Well, technically it's ported already. I'm going to do kind of like our last video where I more or less show you what to do and it's already done. Instead of doing it as we go, which takes a lot longer. Guys, in the comments below, tell me if you like this style better or you want to see, you know, all the work done. Either way, it's whatever you guys want. So, the templates... Are basically two templates. Let me see if I can set this easily. There we go. So there's two templates. There's the template that's for cutting the sleeve and dropping the sleeves down, the bottom section, and the template for the exhaust port. So the first template we're going to go through is this. So this we set on, we will mark it off with Dicom, scribe it, I use a milling machine and I mill all these, use a end mill with a radius on it so you don't end up putting a sharp point here which will cause cracks. And then I finish everything by hand. So give me one second and I will set the upper template so you can see how it goes. So here we go. You can see we set the upper template in. It wraps around. The templates I sell are magnetic. I don't have one here, so I just printed it out real quick. But it gives you an idea to see in the video. And then we just scribe it. Obviously, it's already machined. So we would scribe where it's not cut. Cut it. You know, you could even do it with a grinder. Either one is fine. And then we radius everything so there's no sharp edges from after grinding and machining. So then the next step, we grind inside of all the transfer ports and put a finish on them. So if we're, you're looking for bottom end power, I go with a rougher finish. If you're going for more top end power and racing, then we use a sanding roll. Um, and depending on the RPM we're going for would depend on what grit we use. So we do that. We go inside. We clean up all the windows, square them up, and make them nice. And then we go to the exhaust port. So let me flip the cylinder over, and I'll show you what we do there. All right. So you can see I'm holding this template in. As I said, this is a piece of paper. It's not the magnetic templates we sell, but it's the same shape. And you can see how the port is opened up to match. So basically what we do is we would put Dicom down before we port, We'd set the template on, use a scribe tool, scratch around the outside. So we have a line to go to and then grind from the inside to get it. So what we're doing with these, you know, we will port the inside of the exhaust port. You want them to be smooth, more of like a satin finish. You don't want them polished. So you want to end up getting an air barrier on everything. Also, some Cowie cylinders have a little dimple here. Some 650s, some 750s do. I've had people ask me, do I epoxy fill it? Don't I? It really doesn't matter. Years ago, we used to epoxy fill them, and I've really never seen a benefit to it. You got to remember, all your air is traveling on this top surface, you know, where the exhaust is coming as the piston's going down. You don't really have airflow over here. So that little divot or dimple, it's like a little rectangle in some of the cylinders, is not going to affect you in any way, shape, or form. So, you know, keep that in mind. Don't go too crazy. You know, obviously you want everything to be nice, clean and even. So we open up here so everything's even. And perfect. Now what I'll do is I'm going to set a set of cases down and I'm going to show you why we modify the bottom of the sleeve the way we did. 
I showed this in our case video, which I'll put a link to, um, which more or less shows the reasoning for why we do some of the stuff we do on this. So let's go over to that. As I showed in the case boarding video, you know, these cases are ported. The reason we modify these sleeves the way we do is to allow the air to travel from the reed cage and follow the piston up. You know, on the two stroke, the air comes in from the carb through the reed valve and follows the piston up. When the piston changes direction and explodes the charge that's already in the bore, it compresses that charge and comes back up, which closes the reed valve. And then the pressurized air, when the ports open from the piston coming up, then travel around. So, you know, we want this airflow to follow the piston as easily as possible. And then by dropping the sleeves down, it allows the air to flow back over the sleeve following the piston to go back into the bore. Kind of a short, quick explanation of it, but hopefully you understand what I mean. So, but that shows, you know, why we cut the sleeves the way we do. The little bridge in between is removed. It's really not needed. These sleeves are strong enough the way they are. So, but that basically shows you, you know, what our porting templates do, how it sets them up, and gives you a good idea of what to follow when you get them from us. We're going to be having an eBay store opened up in the next couple days, so all the templates are going to be on the eBay store. Sorry for the delays, guys. We've been slammed with work, and getting out customer work has been the most important thing to us. So like always, guys, thank you for watching the videos. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.